Welcome back guys, it's me, the guy with redstone skill back on my youtube channel with another redstone build. Today's redstone build is going to be an extremely massive one. This is a serious massive one, okay? Today's build is the 6x6 piston trap door. Or a 6x6 door but laying down. Or a 6x6 door that opens a door under neat or like suppose the floor getting vanished like something like that or i'm just trying to say this thing will just within seconds vanish a six by six area don't believe me just watch when i flick the lever promise me you won't just gasp out that how perfect this build is it took me eight hours to build okay not not <laughs> uh, not extremely easy build and it's almost impossible to build in survival the moment of the truth guys here's our six basic platform and did you see the retraction guys i know you cannot see you couldn't have seen that because it happened so fast it was lightning quick yes it was lightning quick <laughs> and and now for the extension it also happens extremely quick nice and quick completely in sync no flaws whatsoever unbreakable within the press of a lever i mean flick Now today do not even expect me to do a tutorial on this thing, this 6x6, but I can sure tell you how this thing works, okay. Right around here we have got a 6x6 platform. This looks so OP from above, but when you go underneath, it, it just doesn't fit. Yes, the underneath looks so bad. Yeah, but let me but let me show you how it works this is just working with stackable triple bus next tender and again the stackable triple bus next tender is designed by me everything is i designed and just look how fast this stack triple bus next tender works You cannot even see when did it finish retraction because it's so quick. And I will also would like to thanks due to the fact of honey blocks in the 1.14 in bedrock edition addition which has made has made it so easier. Now comes my favorite part of the video where I'll explain you guys how does this monstrosity works. When you flick the lever, it drums a signal here. This one, this is zero tick. Okay, this has only one tick. Doesn't count this because this entire contraption is on this one tick. So we won't count this line to have a one tick. We will count it to have a zero tick. From this line we have 8 tick running to the first piston as you cannot actually expect this to like have to run on 0 tick because the forward pistons also need time to retract so that's time it needs to keep, keep extended for that's why we have 8 tick back. And for the middle second section piston this is actually retraction phase 90% we have 11 ticks I guess yes it's 11 ticks and this is where things start to get complicated from this one tick pulse from here we take a dust output which pass this and also pass this now as this as this section is a retraction phase it is now turned 
as this thing is a retraction face this is now turned off but as this is an extension face this should be turned on as you can see yeah and it power works in a perfect manner and when we flick the lever off this turns off this stick keeps running this stick keeps running this thing turns off at first though uh no this dust line turns off at the second this turns on very short time after that and this is the second tick which should be activated for this amount of time this is the second piston retraction and the third piston retraction both at the same time and now you might be asking me why i have created this amount of torch monstrosity here because simply due to the fact we cannot just go any forward than that because that's our piston frame uh, our piston door frame and if you go into the piston door frame it would look horrible so that's why i have tried to keep in everything like this thing but it's a bit slow for being so many torches but it's still extremely fast even though i have used torches as you can see the same thing applies for here this thing works here uh, this thing works here uh, you can just decrease the take uh, this thing works here uh -huh. Well, I thought one tick less will work. Yeah, uh, this, 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 this. You know what? Again, faster this side. I think I have done some wrong take. taking here due to the fact it's five takes but i'll not be doing it uh, but this is remember this is one tick lower than that side still works extremely perfectly there is no flaw in this thing but this thing is way hard to build in survival and yeah that's the entirety of the build itself i hope you have liked this video this is a concept video and if you want if you want a tutorial then i'll be doing it but remember it would be about like 20 minutes long if you want a tutorial i'll surely do it i have no problem in doing it but remember it's, it's impossible to build in survival it, it it takes a huge amount of resources but i hope you should have liked the 6x6 monstrosity of a trap absent trap door which is extremely fast and quick and the best for bedrock edition and i have i don't think anyone can design any better in bedrock edition so that's all i have got for time for today guys i hope you have liked it and please 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 consider subscribing as i worked extremely hard to design all of these things and yeah that's it uh, I think it's time to say goodbye. And yes, goodbye. And uh, you know what I have been staring downwards for a long time. This is the forward. Yeah, goodbye.